everybody. Welcome to the Casino. My name's Kay. This is the Cino. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Tonight, we are going to be watching a random game and giving commentary on it here in Pokemon Unite. Um, I'm going to be going through the list, finding a random person to watch that's currently gaming. We will give commentary and we'll see how the performance is and critique it as we go. Hope you all enjoy and let's see what we find today. All right, today we are following another Inteleon player. I just want to start out, I want to get some Inteleon games so we can sort of see how people are wanting to play them right now. So, for Purple Team, we're starting off with Inteleon, Wigglytuff, Talonflame, Dragonite, and Umbreon, Orange Team, Zacian, Espeon, Greninja, Inteleon, and Slowbro. So, we got two yellow ribbons on top, yellow ribbon bottom, along with two greens and a blue. So let's just look and study the teams. So starting out on Purple Team, they have a good front line between Wigglytuff along with the Umbreon. Um, then you've got a good stealther uh, sneak up person like Inteleon going in, getting the big crits right off the bat. And then you've got Dragonite who's in a good place right now. Talonflame, interesting to see going in the lane and not jungling. Uh, we'll see how that plays out. And then on the other team, we've got Slowbro, Inteleon, Froakie, is this, uh, Sylveon, and, or sorry, Espeon, and Azacian. So right side has a little bit less of a front lane, but they do have much more higher burst potential between the Espeon, the Greninja, the Zacian jumping in, along with the Inteleon. Again, two Inteleons this game, so we'll just keep an eye on uh, Stealthy Boy, just kind of staying back. See, amazing secure again. All right, so let's check out. Let's check out the other Inteleon. He's already getting ready for the gank. Looks like both junglers are at the top. Ooh, good half hit on the Elspeon. Good for you. Right at the uh, 858 mark. So you have enough time to get your abilities back up. He's got three crits ready. So they wait. Water gun at the end. Big burst. Do the dash. Use your uh, acrobatics to get your crits back up off the dash. That way your next three basics will be crits along with your water gun. Ooh, whiff on the water gun. Ooh, but then their Dragonite got taken out pretty hard, getting too greedy to get those stacks in. All right, let's check out the other Inteleon. Just going, getting farm, basic stuff. We didn't see really what happened up top. We can probably go back and replay that and watch. And we can not. Okay, you know we'll figure it out later. We can we can pause and zoom. We can pause and zoom. All right, so everybody's just kind of doing their own thing. Oh, it looks like we got some action up top. Are not. Oh, town, Town's going in. Town's getting a little greedy. We'll get up close. Ooh, Surf from the slow bro. Umbreon is a little low. Getting a little greedy there, buddy. Ooh, maybe if we had the Scald, we could have got the kill. We'll, we'll, we'll see. All right, getting the berries. Oh, getting two berries. Greedy. Oh, the hungry Umbreon. Oh, look, look what's happening at bottom. For, oh, Inteleon just got taken out. Un unfortunately, um, the issue with jungle Inteleon is you don't have a lot of defenses early on. Or in general, honestly. And when you're dealing with the Zacian jungle, you better hope your front line is there to defend those eight-minute birds. And Dratini taken out by the Zacian. Nothing you can really do there. Ooh, good crit hits off the Liquidation. Ooh, get him. Ooh, and the Inteleon with the crit basic. Ooh, Wiggly's down. Unfortunately, Wiggly's just not in a good spot right now. The uh, Sing is predictable to dodge. Not a lot of sustain, unfortunately. Our damage output. So Wiggly's definitely been falling behind. And as a Wiggly main, this makes me really sad. All right, we got Birds doing fine up here. Orange Team pushing in, getting some scores. Looks like Orange Team's been pretty dominant top lane this whole time. Now we're going to see how Orange Team is going to handle bottom. Greninja sticking top. Looks like Talon is now taking the jungle from the Inteleon to try to get caught up in levels. I get it. Right now, the Inteleon should be trying to get to 9 so they can have their ult to get better vision on the enemy team. But Orange is just going to keep pushing. Their Zacian did the right thing. Their Zacian with the jungle. Their Zacian is now 9. Ooh, Wiggly with a strong rollout. He getting, getting the caught, slow bro caught off guard. Good job. Ooh, then a lot of damage output. Honestly, surprised how well Liquidation's doing on the Zacian. Ooh, a little bit too. Oh, Zacian missed with their swords. They don't have enough to charge their passive. They might not be that good in this team fight at this point. They don't have a lot of points to do much. Greninja just going with the back cap. Going in and trying to take out the Zacian. Or sorry, not the... And then Teleon uses their ult. Whiffs on the Sheninja doll. What's people's thoughts about Sheninja doll there? Completely saved them from the ult. 
Ooh, Talon got caught out with the slow bro. Let go a little bit too soon, it looked like. Oh, and Talon was trying to snipe. Got taken out by the Talon Flame, though, unfortunately. Espeon with the ult, trying to get the kill. Nothing there. Dragonite whiff with the hyper beam. Greninja's back up, getting farmed, doing their own little thing. Looks like now that Orange has dominated the bottom lane, they're just going to be rotating to the top. Zacian getting their farm on the way through, as expected. Ooh, a good overcap of 37 on that goal. Greninja just kind of like playing that out, getting the goal where they wanted. Wiggly grab by the Slowbro. Slowbro will have a lot of sustain, but this Slowbro is very control heavy between uh, Surf and the Telekinesis. Ooh, another great roll from the Wiggly. You know, I've been really impressed with this Wiggly this game. Good for her. Ooh, all slap, not enough. And Teleon getting taken down by the mob. Greninja just, again, doing their own solo thing. Talonflame going to try to get the kill. Bazation caught off guard. Umbreon, nothing they can do. They're just stuck in the front lanes while the rest of the team just picks up the win. And there's the Regilecki, nothing to do. Wiggly's going to try to go up. But at this point, whenever they get the Reggie, it's best just to stick back, get ready to catch it, fight it on the base. Because at this point, here's what can happen. If Orange gets greedy, per uh, Purple can dominate this position. They can get revenge kills, get their XP back up. They engaged a little too soon, though. You want to wait till the Regilecki gets about that position, maybe a little bit closer. All good, though. Inteleon got killed. They're still pushing. Ooh, Dragonite down again. Talonflame down. Greninja just got killed. Zacian just got killed. Again, like I said, Orange got greedy. They pushed in. Now the Slowbro is going to get killed off. Now, now left our purple team is caught up on XP. Roll out from the Wiggly, just taking down the Regilecki. Now look, all this farm, all all the all these Pac-Man dots getting ready to be gobbled up. Birds here. D dragging out, ignoring the birds. Going to go solo objective by himself with no vision on the enemy team. Uh, don't know how smart that is, but he's pretty cocky. So we'll see Slowbro's coming down, just kind of chill. Doing thing for his team. Rest of the team just kind of defending. Zacian getting their farm like a smart jungler. And Teleon getting the birds as they're in the middle. Good XP. Oh, Slowbro for the stall. Could have probably waited a little bit more. And Teleon going to come. Try to get the liquidation kill. Good for the Teleon. And Teleon coming down. Trying to get the poke on the Slowbro. Enough, but not enough, unfortunately. Oh, sorry, on the Dragonite. That was their Slowbro. Sorry, there's a lot going on. I'm trying to keep pace. All right, we got... Greninja just stealthing around, coming up here, looking to get a jump on the Talonflame. Ooh, what are we going to have? Oh, 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 and the Talonflame with the Jukes and Dragonite with the Hyper Beam. Good job, team. Now we got Slowbro defending here. Espeon just kind of chilling out, going back to base to heal up. And Talonflame keeping up with the farm, getting the birds. Oh, it looks like everybody's starting to gather for the Regilecki up top. So we'll see how things go. Purple's positioning on the left. Orange is starting to be a little aggressive coming in. Ooh, good liquidation by the Inteleon. Should have probably saved that, though. Don't want to give up your position just yet. Umbreon getting away. Another one. Yep, yep, they're calling out. Get that Greninja. Ooh, Umbreon again. Too greedy by themselves front lane. I guess they were trying to stall to protect. And Dragonite with the secure. Good job. Reggie Lucky, best teammate I know. Getting some damage on the slow run Inteleon. Looks like, again, all right, again, ever since the Arch team got a Greedy. Again, whenever you get Regilecki you, and you're in the lead, you can get Greedy and the entire game will just change if you keep trying to push it in and they're defending too much. Now we've got 15 seconds for a Quasi to come up. We're looking at our level difference is Umbreon, 11, Dragonite, 12, Talon, 13, Wiggly, 12, and Teleon, 15. Then we got Slowbro, 11, and Teleon, 12, Greninja, 14, Espeon, 12, and Zacian, 12, 13 on the per orange side. Now everybody's just kind of setting up. Greninja's going to do their own thing. They're going to get farm. They're going to get all the XP here. Greninja's... Pro oh, Talonflame cut out the Greninja again. What's going to happen? Oh, Talon with the whiff. They're going to pull back. Oh, there's a big fight going down here. They know the Greninja. They know the Talonflame is not here. They're going to go in. Good ult from the Slowbro. Grabbing the Dragonite. Unfortunately, it was not enough as the other team just beat him up. Ooh, it looks like Orange took a lot of hits there. So Zacian, Espeon, Slowbro's down. Ooh, down. Only Greninja's left. Will Greninja be able to get this kill? They do have their ult and... Oh, no. Dragonite with the secure again. Looks like a kill to Greninja, and it looks like Purple Team has secured this victory. Espeon trying to ult for a defense. Still not enough as Talonflame just gets in there. Talonflame... <coughs> for some reason, goes down here, getting all the goals. Talonflame there. Okay, Talonflame... Talonflame not getting that hundo in. 
but it doesn't matter. Rest of the team scoring hundreds, getting them dubs, getting them scores. What a goal, everybody! And now Dragonite's just going to secure this hundred here without a shield. And that'll be it for this game. Again, Orange Team had the lead the entire time to changing point of that game. They had the lead. They got the Reggie. They got greedy with the Reggie. And they try to push it in, getting picked off and giving Revenge XP back to Purple Team. So congrats on the enemy team, or Purple Team, which is now, I believe, Orange Team. For Congrats on the, this, the team on my, 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 my right for picking up that advantage and then leading with it from that point. Again, this game last two minutes is a very decisive factor, but if you give up your level lead to your opponent, then unfortunately that's what's going to happen. All right, well, that was a good learning experience for everyone today. Hope you got enjoyed the video, got some education from it. I'm not point, blah, 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 I can't talk, pushing on the Reggie Lucky way too much. When you could fall back, get get farm, steal your opponent's jungle. That's another thing you could do instead of pushing that Regilecki. You could just rotate down, take your opponent's farm while they're dealing with the Regilecki, keep them hindered on their levels, and then proceed to win. All right, we'll see you guys next time in the next video. Hey, hope you liked the gameplay and the commentary. What am I saying? Of course you did. So please go down, comment below what you liked about it, what you want to see in the future, or you know, even some critique on what I can do to improve uh, these video segments. Again, hope you all enjoyed, and we will see you next time. Who knows, maybe you'll be in the next video.